Yeah, I think some of the fish in here were attacking them. Like, look at my hand. Oh, nice. There we go. Check that fish out, guys. Brandy and Randy actually are intimidated by this fish. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I'm actually filming today's intro after I filmed the video, which I normally don't do, but I wasn't even expecting to make this video today, so that's why I have to do this. Me and Brandon were at this fish shore called the Barrier Reef earlier today, and we saw this fish that we literally just could not pass up. It's one of the coolest fish I've ever seen. Right when we saw this fish, me and Brandon both knew we had to buy him, so we did. He's here in the pool pond right now. You guys will see all that in today's video. Before we actually get into the video, I wanna quickly mention the winner of the clown knife fish name. I decided to name the clown knife fish Bozo the Clown. So his name is Bozo. Congratulations to all the people who commented Bozo. I'll throw some up on the screen right now. Anyways, guys, let's not waste any more time. Let's cut to earlier today when me and Brandon enter Barrier Reef. Here we go. Look at a little gar. There's some cool Twaycos in here. Look how cool these guys are. It's a really cool Twaycos. Dude, that one's Dude, look at this. Look at the size of these cichlids. Oh, dude, I should get some of these for my tank. Bro, look. Catfish? Ooh, what are those? Look, look at the size of these things. Huge. Oh my god, Brandon. Freshwater, dude, it's red. A red freshwater puffer fish. I say we get it. Should we get it? Guys, comment if we should come back and get this puffer fish. Look how cute he is. Oh my god. Brandon. Brandon. Dude, that's gotta be so expensive. Look at the size of that Oscar. Albino red Oscar. Look how big he is, dude. That fish is old. Wow. Look at the size compared to my hand, dude. Yeah, I think some of the fish in here were attacking him. His fins, yeah, his fins are all beat up. He is old, dude. Look at the size of him, though. Yo, we're getting them, right? Yeah. I say we get them. This is such a cool fish. Yeah. Call snaggles, dude. Look at this jaw, dude. He's, he's been in, he's he's been in some in fights. Water. It look looks like he's going like this. Ready? It's so hard to tell how big he is on camera. Like, look at my hand. God, that thing's huge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not over. Yeah, it's not over. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not over. Oh, there we go. Nice. All right, we got them. Let's head home. It was crazy. It was it was like a whole uh, a whole scene there. Like once people found out we were taking the Oscar, everyone was like piled together, and they're like, "Really? They're getting the Oscar?" Like everyone knew that fish, and and some dude came out and he was like trying to feed him these pellets, and I thought, dude, he pulled this out and he started dropping these in the water right next to us. I thought he was trying to give him like pills. I was like, I was like, what? What is this guy doing? Cause I didn't know he worked there, but he gave it to us. He was like. He loves these little pellets. He just drop them by his face. Dude, this fish, there's a cool story that dude told us. He said that those koi that were in there with him, those were originally his food. Like they were like this small and they'd put them in there for him to eat. And he made them his friends. Like he just didn't eat them and, he, and, and they're his friends. So this fish is a, he's got a big personality. He's gonna eat the lizards next. He's gonna eat the lizards. They said he's not gonna, they said he only eats pellets, but oh no, oh no. We're gonna make him eat something else. We're gonna train them. We're gonna train them to eat some lizards. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it back to my house and we have our amazing new albino tiger Oscar in there. Oh, oh it's heavy. Oh, oh yeah. he looks huge. Here we go. Okay, so we did some thinking. And originally, we were gonna put this guy in the pool pond with the clown knife fish and the bass and all that or we were gonna put it in the new pool pond that doesn't have anything. But we did some thinking and there's there's a lot of reasons that we should put them in here instead. Now, one of the reasons, right, is because the, the people there, they said that they put koi fish in there for him to eat and he made them his friends. So I was thinking it would, it'd be perfect to put him in with the koi because he's friends with the koi. 
And also, I don't want, he's an old fish, so I don't want the bass or anything chasing him around and stressing him out. So I think this will be a nice place for him to live out the rest of his life. Usually I let you guys uh, pick out the names for our new fish, but I have, I literally have the perfect name for this thing. Now I realize the saying, right, Brandon? Fish are friends, not food. Bye, Bruce. By Bruce from Finding Nemo. Fish are friends, not food. So I got the perfect name for him. That is now Bruce, because obviously the fish are his friends and not food, right? He only eats these pellets. The koi fish are his friends. So if you agree with the name Bruce, let me know. But if you have any other names you think would be better, also let me know. But I think Bruce is perfect. We had a lot of choices on where we could have put Bruce. One of the choices uh, would have been our new pool pond right here. But since we still don't have the actual filter set up and there's no oxygen, there's no circulation or filtration, I think it wouldn't be a great idea to put him into here yet. And we also could have put him in with Brandy and Randy and uh, Bozo. That's right. The clown's name is Bozo. I forgot to mention that. A lot of you guys commented some really good names. It was hard for me to choose. A lot of you guys said Joker. Uh, a lot of you guys said Pennywise. But a few of you said Bozo the Clown, and I thought that was a perfect name. So that is Bozo the Clown chilling down there. Like, I would love to put Bruce the Oscar into here, but I don't know. I just... These bass are some aggressive fish, man, and I don't know if that'd be a great idea. Ah, I don't know. The more I'm looking at it... Uh, Brandon, what do you think? Dude, I, I, uh, he would look so cool in the pool pond. Yeah, let's oh, do wait, that. Oh, we put him in there so they actually see him. Yeah, we'll acclimate him. Okay, guys, uh, we made a, we made a corporate decision. Okay, we made a corporate decision. Bruce is going in the pool pond, dude. He's just gonna look so cool in there. But it's not the end of the world. Like, if they do end up being aggressive towards Bruce, then easy fix. I just put him back into the koi pond where we were originally gonna put him. Bruce, you're heavy. You're fat. <laughs> you're just swimming around in there. Okay. <laughs> Say hello to Bruce the Oscar. Brandon, let's go catch some lizards and feed the bass before we release Bruce into his home. Or tilapia. Or tilapia. Oh yeah, we could go cast net some fish. Which one do you think? Tilapia. Let's go cast net some fish real quick, feed the bass, and then we're gonna release them. Oh, it's feeding time, baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, the clown? Oh, oh, hey, buddy, hey! He just hit the clown! Like a... Oh, nice. Look at all this tilapia. This was in one cast net. I'm gonna throw some towards the clown. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Bro, they just ate all of them. Like, it... oh! Dude, they're so thick. Come on, clown. I'm still a little shy. But what do you say, Brandon? Say it's time to release the time Oscar. To release Bruce. All right, I'm gonna add a little more of uh, the pond water into this water before we actually put them in. Add a little bit of this water to your water. There we go. Oh, such a cool fish, dude. Wow. All right, we just added some of the pool pond water to uh, Bruce's bag. Now we just gotta wait five to 10 more minutes and we'll add a little bit more. And then after that, we should be able to let him go into the pool pond. What do you think of the new fish? What do you think of the new fish? Oh, you like the new fish? All right, guys, the time is officially here. We're going to put Bruce, our new albino Oscar, into his new home here with the bass and the clown knife fish. I don't want to stress him out too much, so I'm not going to keep him out of the water for too long, but I definitely want to show him off a little bit. So, nice and easy. There we go. There we go. Check that fish out, guys. Such a pretty fish. All right, here we go. There you go, buddy. Nice and easy. <laughs> He's so cool. Let's get the bag out of here. Look at him. Oh, he's so cool. Oh, there he goes. Oh, that's so cool. The bass aren't even doing anything. He's just chilling. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my look God. at him. <laughs> he's letting him know who's boss. Look at this. Good job, Bruce. Way to let him know. Look at him. Dude, he's letting him know. Let's go. Yes, I'm so happy. That could have gone either way. I mean, the bass have gotten a lot less aggressive recently, especially after I put the clown in. 
but yeah dude oh that's so cool man having another fish in here that's like colorful and not just black oh that's so cool he looks great in there look at the bass they don't even care <laughs> oh look at him he's chasing him dude oh dude he's so cool he's got such a big personality look at that dude <laughs> well guys that's our new fish in the pool pond Bruce, the albino tiger Oscar. Big shout out to Barrier Reef where we got this fish. They were super nice there. And they really helped us out, but this is such a good addition to the pool pond because everything in here is like, you know, darker colored and just having a nice, bright albino Oscar. It just looks really good in here. I was not expecting to get a big albino tiger Oscar today, but as soon as I saw that fish, dude, we were going there, you know, maybe get some little, little tiny fish to grow out from that pool pond. But dude, as soon as I saw him, I thought he was just like on there for display. I didn't even know he was for sale. And I asked the guy, I was like, are these fish like for sale? And he was like, yeah, I'll give it to you for 45. I'm like, I'm like, what? <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> head bump, head bump. Yo, look at this. <laughs> They're head bumping. Look at this, dude. What the hell is he doing? Yo, he's, he's greeting him. <laughs> that's so funny. Bro, that's so, this is so anticlimactic. We thought, we thought the bass would be chasing him. He's chasing the bass. Look at this. <laughs> Brandy's like, who is this? We just added another like brick right here with the holes and we have it slanted up against uh, the other one so that the fish can swim under it as a little hideout if they need to. All right, guys, that'll do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe down below. Anyways, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace out.